everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Lydia Bracken. I'm the Assistant Dean for Equality, Diversity and Inclusion in the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences at the University of Limerick. We've just finished a very insightful seminar um, to mark International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia and Biphobia 2019. Um, it takes place tomorrow on the 17th of May. Um, at the seminar, I was joined by three wonderful speakers. Um, Alina Keel is a PhD student and the LGBTQIA+, I hope I've said that correctly, representative on the UL Student Council. Paula Fagan is the CEO of LGBT Ireland and Killian Flynn is a representative from GOSH who are based here in Limerick. And I'd like to thank our speakers once again for joining us this afternoon and for contributing to a really, really insightful debate. Or discussion, I should say, we weren't debating anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so I might begin with, with Paula. I just wanted to ask you, maybe you could explain uh, to the viewers a little bit about what you do and, and what your role is with LGBT Ireland. Sure, so I am uh, delighted to be here today. I am CEO with LGBT Ireland and we are a national uh, charitable organisation. We work to improve the rights, visibility and inclusion of lesbian, gay, bisexual, uh, trans, people and their family members across the country. We do that three ways really. We provide a national support service, helpline service and online chat. We offer, um, we offer peer support groups as well. We provide training, so that kind of fits with what we're doing today. So we provide training to around LGBT plus awareness. And then the last thing we do is we advocate for rights and um, recognition in policy and legislation. So that's how I know uh, Lydia so well, because uh, one of the camp campaigns we're working on at the moment is around LGBT plus family rights. So that's really what we do. Okay, thank you very much, Paula. Thank you, Lydia. Killian, could you tell us a bit about what you do in the, the work of GOSH? Yeah, so GOSH is a Limerick-based charitable organization, and we cover Limerick, Clare, and North Tipperary, so mm -hmm. the Midwest. Um, so we uh, work in the areas of gender, orientation, sexual health, and HIV. And that varies from advocacy and training to one-to-one uh, -one support, counselling, support groups. Uh, we run a very successful youth group as well. Uh, we also offer rapid HIV and hepatitis C testing. Um, so I suppose we're an umbrella organisation mm -hmm. where um, we work with people um, going through um, issues or looking for support around gender orientation, sexual health and HIV. But we also provide um, training. We provide um, advocacy work and even coming to events like this as well would be a key key aspect of getting out into the community and uh, providing support information but also um, highlighting the, the service within the area as well. Okay perfect thank you very much and then finally turn to Alina uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, kind of the work that you do within the UL? Sure um, I'm the LGBTQI plus student representative on the student council um, so what I do informally, I meant to kind of represent um, LGBT students on campus and work in their best interests. Um, so what I've been doing is working with a couple of different organizations on campus to try to improve administrative understanding and accommodations for um, particularly trans students, um, basically with the end goal of making UL um, just a really LGBT friendly um, university and Limerick a really friendly kind of welcoming space. Um, it's been an interesting year so far and I'm looking forward to my next and final year in the position. Okay, fantastic. So thanks once again to all of our speakers. Um, thank you all for watching and please make sure to follow the UL School of Law on Twitter, Facebook um, and also on YouTube. Okay.